to say the least. The, the thing yeah. is, is that, like, Hit has, like, consistent combos. That's, like, one thing. And what's interesting is that I feel like they are consistent against Game & Watch, which is not necessarily the... This is not necessarily like you know the same thing around. So like, if you look at the damage can get out there for hit in this case and for pack smash. Yeah. Like, if he gets the combos going, like you know, it's gonna be a pretty consistent thing. And if you get those like you know earlier edge guards or those like early moves, that can do really well. The problem though is that you're gonna you can't try to get your game watch. Like, yeah. Another problem is Pit likes to jump around a lot, and game watch has like stuff like Nair. But that's that another thing. That orbitars. The orbitars on Pit are very very. Good. In this matchup, because if Oats slightly misspaces like the the air or tries to like come in from like in the front or in the back, he's not gonna get that air off. He's not gonna connect. Yeah. So, and that juggle situation that would have been you know many more up airs coming out from Oats, but he can't quite do that. At this point. Which is kind of where this matchup gets a little bit interesting. This kind of gets to be a lot of a patience game because you get those consistent combos. You get the throw follow-ups off of Pit. They, you don't necessarily Ooh, get from down. Game of Watch, per se. And these, and these like, stray moves, these stray hits, such as those back airs, they're just going to do really, really well against Game of Watch because they're just going to send you yeah. absolutely a cool line. This is another part of the, the game, though, which is edge guarding. And, you know, it's... Pit. Yeah, Pit has that little bit of invincibility at the start, which could definitely help. Like, you know, the one problem is that just, like, Pack needs to, like, make sure that his, uh, his recoveries are mixed up because, you know, Pit can't necessarily yeah. edgeguard Game & Watch as well as Pit normally does, but Game & Watch can edgeguard Pit to the heavens. Yeah. And back. If you're not careful, but that side beat take her, sorry, uh, I, I didn't see the first time taken. Some but. move from Game & Watch. Let's be real, everything kills on this character. Yeah, yeah, so... Just trying to maximize the lead here. Probably gonna play really chill. I mean, like, you have to kill me, right? Yeah, you gotta kill, and this is the problem, is that, like, you know, Pack Smash, like, needs to, like, look for those down throws, but, like, the thing is, I don't even know if down throw is gonna confirm into back air anymore at this point. Yeah, probably just needs, like, a raw back air, or maybe an up smash or something. Or, down smash not quite gonna do it, yeah. Down smash... Very quick, not very powerful, so it's not necessarily going to be taking the stock, even against Game Watch against such a lightweight. It's not getting yeah. these hits off. Even even an up air, honestly, at this point might do it, but he's just, Oates is oh. not giving it to him whatsoever. Yeah, Oates just playing calm, throwing, oh, but the dash attack, Game Watch light -like character, going to do it. True, true, true. Oh. That's a downer. The gonna downer, say. not going to quite do it. On the ledge, though, ooh, that was a nice little drift to avoid that up but Ah, uh, backer poking. Lingering turtle. Franklin Turtle saying, "Get out of here. We don't want. We don't want to yeah. deal with any of uh, Pit's shenanigans right now." Pack Smash needs something here before Ode just kills. Yeah, but I like the patience. He's not trying to overexert because Ode is looking for that downer. He wants that downer. He wants you to overextend and then just immediately punish you for that overextension. Nice, nice use of the Guardian Overtars. Not, quite gonna, not gonna get sent off the side, so he is still gonna have another lease on life. Oh, on the ledge. Ooh, but that parry? Yeah. Yeah, up though. smash, so safe. You have to just be aware that, like, you know, Game & Watch is going to throw out that up tilt at that up smash eight times out of ten. Yeah. Like, it's a very... Common situation there. Because everyone thinks, I can punish this move. It's a smash attack on my shield. No. Yeah, no. Unfortunately, you cannot. No. Yeah, that smash is not quite going to get it, but nice running over that through yeah. that snare. He's going to get caught more in this jungle situation, though, as he can't quite get back. Feels like Pack Smash having a really hard time getting in. Oh, just playing super contempt to just sit back and wait for you to make a mistake. Yeah, that's the thing is that like with as pit in this matchup, like you need to play like you just need to like have a straight up better neutral. Because this is a game of neutral and when you do get those neutral interactions that you do win. Making sure that you just get all the way off. Oh, but the up smash breaking the down my bad. Uh and then yeah, that F tilt coming in. Oh just straight up said, Yeah, that move that you had, a little annoying for my combo game. Uh, let's get out of the way real yeah, quick. Yeah. You're gonna die. Yeah. Yes, I said that.
see game two, small battlefield, very similar, a bit smaller, so. Yeah. Ooh, the dark pit instead. I don't know how much this actually changes anything, but we'll I feel see. like I kind of like it in some degree because I felt like I felt like the arrows weren't really doing this like that much, and you'd rather just get the more damage for the quick arrows than the lighter arrows. Yeah. Because yeah. you're not really gonna be getting like many like gimps or whatnot, you're gonna not gonna be getting many like little snipes with the with the regular pit arrows. You'd rather just get more bang for your buck and those neutral just like throw out arrows as opposed to like anything else. Uh -huh. For sure. Oh, oh no, that's no, a rare the down SD. air. Rare unfortunate SD. SD for Oat. A little bit unfortunate, but he's looking to try and just make sure that SD doesn't mean anything. Smash uh -huh. looking to send this lead a little bit. He needs to take advantage of this. He needs to just like get this damage on right now because. Yeah, otherwise you could just die to down smash at like 70. I'm not sure about these rates going up from Pack Smash though. This, this S Smash isn't really going to be doing that much at this point in the game, at this point in the percent. But. Good okay, pressure. Nice job, least keeping uh, Oat off of him. Oat minus the SD has played a pretty solid game. I mean. Yeah, nice tech coming out from Pack Smash as well. Not getting hit by that upbeat from Game Watch. Action has, has not gotten a hit in like 30 seconds. Yeah, I, I do honestly want to see some more dash attack coming off from Pack Smash. It feels like he hasn't been using it as much. And, and it's, a, it's a fairly quick burst option because it feels like Oda's just like right outside of his, like, um, right outside train. of his spacing on the ground. Here comes Pack Smash with a little bit of aggression. Yeah. Nice weight on the turtle as well, so he's not going to give Oda neutral for free. Uh huh. Away. He's, he is going to be getting back and he's trying to get another piece of this advantage out for uh, himself. I don't know what these judges are coming out from Ode, but... Ode has said that he's a person who likes to do things just to get in people's heads. He, the reason he does up tilt after everything is kind of taunting and just saying, This is a bad move. I'm going to show you how bad it is. Y you like how bad it is? And then he just never uses it. Yeah. Which... You gotta do, because the mental game is a very important part, at least, of the game. Like, if you get in someone's mental, you immediately restrict their options. You immediately restrict, like, you know, what they're trying to do, what they want to do. Yeah. But also, just put a little fear, like, I'm not afraid. You know? I feel like you in that situation, though, that pass match, he got, he's got to, like, chase a little bit more as well with the, with the up smashes. That might be a little... That's another SD oh, coming That's off another o. SD. Wow. Oh. Yeah, I... I feel like he meant to actually like jump from the ledge and then do an immediate down air, but that might have been a little bit of tricky spacing. Just because the fact that he used his jump immediately to go for that down air, just like he said, like, he has no way of making it back, even without that. Who is patience coming up from pack smash? Oh, that's an S smash. Yeah, I mean, still the lead, but for how long? As you say that, this lead is suddenly gone. Ooh. He's gonna up. He's gonna get past. The, get back to the ledge. That's another regrab. But definitely not, gonna punish. not over for Pack Smash. I feel like he's just. He's just gotta adapt a little bit and kind of beat these burst options that O can throw out. He's gotta. He's gotta beat these. But it does feel like you know, like I said before, like he just is not doing dash tag. And pit dash tag is quite good. Sakurai uses it a bunch, and <laughs> it's it's not. It's not gonna kill until like you know, pretty high percents. But considering the burst that it has and how quick it is, it's fairly good in that respect. His patience to get past that as he gets past the bacon. Pack Smash realizes that Denny's nearby, closes at four today, and he said, "There's no bacon anywhere. Get it out of here." That's a third bucket. Ooh, that that is bucket. Oh, oh nice coming that up. Was, that was that was a about to just break and kill Pack Smash, but the hold barely holds on. He's got to get past this. Oh, Down air. Still alive. That's an air dodge, though. Oh, oh, beautiful. Beautiful arm. No. Oh, he's trying to go for these downers. These have not been working. <gasps> That's the up air, though. Not going to quite do it, but both these players at kill percent. Yeah, but this is the point where, like, you know, if you 
you see those like bombs, you gotta just chase with it up there. Oh, oh. untackable, I think. Untackable, but good stuff coming out from Otis, especially for those uh -huh. two SDs that he kind of had at the start. You know, 